Well, good morning, morning, friends and family. Um, this is one of my absolute very favorite books to read. Um, and I am inspired to read this book because my dad, when I was little, used to do funny accents. And th this is one of the accents that I always remember him doing. So I'm going to share it with you today, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Um, so without taking too much time, we're going to get started. So this story is called Skippy John Jones. And Skippy is a cat who thinks he's a chihuahua. And he is not. He is a Siamese cat, but he thinks he's a chihuahua. He's not a chihuahua. He's a cat. And his, his name is Skippy John Jones. Okay, here we go. Early morning, every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mr. Mrs. Doohiggy's bird bath. The lecture went on and on and on as usual. You've got to do something, some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse, not a grouse, not a moose or a goose or a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. All of the fun happens in his closet. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed. And once or six times, I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole! exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up in the air he went again, and again it appeared. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, my ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body, and I am not a Siamese cat. I am a chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his map, onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a muy muy soft voice. My name is Scapito Fresquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like jello. I get the job done. Yes, indeed. Oh, does he look like a great sword fighter? Let's see if he is. Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezebel, and Jill, Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John Jones come out of his room now? asked Juju B. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John Jones wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterious Isos band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ah, Cambrea, who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Las Chimichangos, growled Don Diego. Diego, the biggest of the small ones, who are you? I am El Scapito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Paquito Tito. I am incognito, said Scapito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Panita Lito. Si, sí, I love mice and beans, said Scapito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia if he knows the secret password. Look at all those chihuahuas. <laughs> Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into Ch Chihuahua's very large ear. The Ah, Chupichu. Bless you, 
said Don Diego. Gracias, said Skipito. Then it was true, declared Don Diego. Yippee, yip, yippee, yippito. It's the end of Alfredo Bezito. Skipito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bambalito. Then all of the chimichangas went crazy, loco. They want to get rid of that big bumblebee, don't they? First, they had a fiesta. Then they took a siesta. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture of the, in the sand of the great bumbelito for Scapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos so great that they could hear a whisper drop. Alfredo Bazito, the crowd, whispered the crowd. El bum, bimpo bumbelito bambito. Si, said Pequito Tito. The bandita steals our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Scapito, outraged. Si, Poquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked beans, and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly too. And now he comes for us, Poquito added. Por qué? asked Scapito. Because we are full of the beans too. Then Don Diego stood tall in his somber, most somber voice and declared, Yo crejito, frajitos, huh? asked Capito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Paquito Tito, and you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Capito. Then all of the chimichangas turned towards Capito, the great sword fighter. But poor Scapito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichanga scattered in all directions. Oh, no, Scapito, or, it, or is it you, the bandito, will ito? They cried. Scapito stood his ground, but his leg shimmied and shook like jello, and his teeth chattered like cassinets. And then in a muy muy soft voice, he said, My name is Scapito Fresquito. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfred Bazito knew, flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles, cried Scapito as he thrust his sword into the air. What's going to happen next? Then suddenly, pop! Land, went the bandito, landing on Scapito's sword, and quicker than one could say, Chimichanga cheese and crackers! Every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bazito, the bambito, the bumbelito bandito! Look at all those beans. Ah! Then all of the doggies burst into song. Yep, yippee, yippito! Our hero is Scapito! He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans! And now we can make our burritos. <laughs> They're pretty happy. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls had just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Bangito, crashito, papito, scapito. Just in time to see Skippy John Jones' closet exploding. Then out flew the candy bean bags, doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Holy muchachitos, he said in his muy muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy, Skippy John Jones covered with his, and covered his head with furry, furry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I am Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own. I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Buenos noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. The end. Isn't he a brave cat for fighting off the big bumblebee? And the bumblebee who stole all the chihuahua beans and who got them all back the great sword fighter yes and that's the end of our story for today thanks for watching with us have a great tuesday